everybody, it's Michelle Lavore and Devin Lavore coming, coming at, at you. And we're so glad that you're here and we pray that you guys are blessed by what the Lord has to share today. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to be going over our last week plus a little overlap, I'm sure, into this week. We are, we are the overlappers. <laughs> I feel like maybe the, the weeks have kind of shifted a little bit because yeah. in the last couple of weeks we've had the midweek videos so um well in tabernacles it it, it ended on sunday right? yeah i think so yeah it was so sunday evening so it was kind of like going into that day as well with the, with the way with the way our life flows we can only do videos at night we always do our videos at night now and so sometimes we can't and so tonight we can but by the time you're watching this it's wednesday if you're watching it when it just comes out, yeah. you know, if you're watching it a year from now, oh, well, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> None of this means anything, you know? <laughs> yeah. But, um, but yeah, but we are going to be going over act three, scene 27, um, of the restoration play. Mm -hmm. And like I said, there'll probably be a little spillover into this week just because, you know, a lot of times, even, even throughout this journey, we've had where God is doing something and there's a fullness and a completeness to what he's doing. And so, yeah. um, you know, and it doesn't always it respect doesn't, our it doesn't, time frame. Yeah. <laughs> our calendar gets thrown out the window. Yeah, so, um, but yeah, and we, then when it does get thrown out the window, you're so glad, right? Yeah. Because like the Lord's like, he shows you something that's like, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm so glad we didn't make our video yet. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so we'll be getting into that here in a second. But first, we want to give a huge thank you to everyone who Sign language. has thank you. Thank given you. and continues to give to us. Yeah. Um, we appreciate all of you. And we are support-based. So if you would like to give to us, you can. We have a PayPal link, a Cash App link, and a Venmo link below and you can use any of those and we would just really appreciate it. Yep. So, um, as long as we find ourselves here in this wilderness priestly training campground yep. that the Lord has placed us in. Yep. So, again, huge thank you to everyone and um, yeah. so we will just go ahead and begin. Um, so this is covering all of last week and it was really the Feast of Tabernacles. Um, the Feast of Tabernacles started last Sunday and went throughout the entire week and um, into this last Sunday mm -hmm. um, because it's a, it's a seven day feast. And then a lot of times they have an eighth day um, and in celebration. And so we kind of just began, literally it was so interesting because last Sunday, we were doing just a lot of like cleaning and yeah. just, hey, let's just really kind of, you know how it is. You you have your stuff and it just, things get messy, it gets out of place. And so you're just like, okay, let's, let's really like clean everything. I mean, it was like spring cleaning. I guess it was more like fall cleaning because it is the fall. But, you know, we're yeah. moving the couches, vacuuming, getting behind, all that, all that yeah. kind of stuff. And so, yeah. um, but I thought it was so interesting because we were doing that pretty much all day. But yeah. come right around like 5.30 or so, I sat down and I know like it was just like, okay, you're, you know, you sit down, you're just kind of like, all right, I'm, I'm relaxing now. Like we've been working pretty much most of the afternoon. And, but I was just starting to feel this like deep rest. Coming. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And... And it immediately, I was like, whoa, wait a minute. I knew like Feast of Tabernacles was getting ready to start. And sure enough, it, it, has, it has gone on through literally the entire week. It was a deep resting week. And yeah. that doesn't mean that you just, we sat and did nothing. It, because yeah, we weren't like being irresponsible. No, but it's it was just, just like... It's so interesting because I, it's really only the Spirit of God that can do something like this because we still did laundry, yep. we still did, you know, all the basic all necessities. The You're yeah. still, we were still doing our God times, hearing from the Lord, um, 
all of those things in, in a lot of ways it was like okay this doesn't seem all that different um, but there was a spirit of rest that was just like just in every second yeah of, of the, the day it was just like <laughs> it was really it was really awesome you know, because I got to hang out with the kids a lot, and I don't normally do that. Mm -hmm. You know, we're just hanging out, playing, and having fun together. You mm -hmm. know, it was just really cool. Yeah. You know? So just overall, there was just this sense of deep, <laughs> deep rest, like, throughout the entire week, including this last Sunday. Well, and we had friends that we were talking to and they were feeling it too, the mm -hmm. whole week. And I was mm -hmm. just like, what is this? What's going on? And we're yeah. like, well, we're feeling it too. And then someone else would chime in like, me too. Yeah. And it's like, I think this is what's going on this week, you know? Yeah. And so it was just kind of a time to be with the Lord, but to mm -hmm. just say, okay, we're just gonna sit in your presence we're gonna just like come into our hearts our souls are gonna come into agreement with like this is just a time to rest this isn't a time to be agitated this isn't a time to like just go 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 and mm -hmm. and try and do things um but wasn't that this also the scene where the prayer and intercession amped up big yeah time? well and that and that's part of it um we and really, the prayer has been amped up, I think, since the beginning of October. But oh, this yeah. but this last week in particular, it mm -hmm. has just, especially at night, um, yeah. like we've had some nights where we're just up praying. That's and true. Just we did being talk before. about that a little bit in our last video, yeah. didn't we? Yeah. And, and so that just <laughs> continued. Yeah, um, it did. But I think even just in a greater measure yeah i guess for me yeah it really god really started because a lot of times i don't pray that much you know when it comes to like prayer time you know what i mean and uh am i getting ahead no oh, okay right. you you're giving me that look like ah, Devin. no you're no, getting ahead. no no okay. it was just because you're like i don't pray that much and i'm giving you the you pray but then you explained it you're oh, like yeah. i do pray but just I like i pray that. all day i'm yeah. just talking to the like i talk to you all yeah. day yeah and then it's like okay it's six o'clock time to talk to michelle what do you have to say uh, uh yeah. <laughs> you know what I, mean? I mean i've been talking to her all day i don't know if i have anything specific to say to her right now in this moment um i know i'm supposed to but uh you know what i mean that's what it yeah. feels like for me and so i've been you know judging myself a lot on my prayers you know, a lot of times we say stuff about ourselves and we really, and I'm not trying to be religious or legalistic or get super charismatic about it, okay? But you really got to watch what you say about yourself because I've been saying out of this mouth that God has created to use to create things and to pray things into creative existence, you know, it's just like, man, my prayers are not that great. I'm not really that big of a prayer. I'm, a, and I'm like constantly downing myself on my prayers. And one, one night, because a lot of times, actually, funny thing is, like a lot of times at nighttime when we're doing God time, particularly during worship, I'm doing like a puzzle a lot of times, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm working on this puzzle right now, and and uh, and the Lord would just begin to talk to me during that time about like. He just began to show me, like, just because I don't pray like Michelle. Because I tell you what, this girl, she's like a, she's like an AR-15. She just, <laughs> she's just like rattling off prayers like crazy. And I'm just like, wow. I'm just like, man, it's just like, it's just like listening to a really great piano player. You know, like, wow, I'll, I'll, I'll never be that good. And she just, she's like that in prayer. She's just going. I'm just like, wow, dude. And I'm just going, dun, 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 <laughs> playing chopsticks or something. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, those are my prayers. And the Lord's like, I love chopsticks. Mm -hmm. I, I love those prayers. Mm -hmm. You know? It's like, I love Michelle's prayers, but you're judging yourself based on, you know, and the Lord just began to deal with me on that. And I tell you what, he was like, and the Lord was like, I want to hear you pray. Mm -hmm. You know? And so I just started praying a lot more and, 
start offering up my prayers and just like really just praying it the way I pray it. Mm -hmm. And then the funny thing is, is Michelle's like, I love it when you pray. I and do. I'm like, it's like you do? I, I love it. I'm like, my prayers have. are so like. I feel like my prayers are like a finger painting you hang up in a kindergarten classroom. You know, I'm just like, you like that? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? He's like, I don't know, but I love it. Yeah. Because <laughs> it, it was for me. You but know? it's like, but it's like, you know, if you think about it, even just with like stories, you know, you can love a certain author. But you also love another author. But could you imagine if, if like one author compared them to themselves to the other author, and they decided I don't want to write? It's like you would be missing out on like a whole like another person's heart like being displayed, and it's just like you know you want yeah. to be able to receive. Like God wants to hear everybody's. Yeah. And it's like He sees it as good and he loves it can you imagine that author in a story in a story setting you know this one author everyone's trying to be like this one author and you go to that author and say so what do you read it's like i don't read anything i'm really not happy with the authors that are out there it's like yeah they're not as good as you are they it's like no that's not it they all are trying to be me I, I already write me. I want to see something besides me. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I'm upset because they're not being them. And yeah. they're trying to be like me. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Can you see that yeah. happening? Yeah. Ooh, we're going creative. We're going visionary. <laughs> you know, someone ought to make a movie. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> no, but I just, I, I, I appreciated that the word was talking to you about yeah. that. Because I definitely, like... You know, I think we all sh can struggle with that, whether it's prayer or anything else. It's like just allowing God to just hear us and see us and to move in whatever he's given us. Yeah. In, well, the scripture in. says that the prayers of the righteous are his delight, mm -hmm. you know, so it doesn't spe specify anything but prayers, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. and so that's kind of been our week, really, it's, it, yeah. these are just examples, Yes, this is one example of just like how the rest, the rest time for us during this scene, during this Feast of Tabernacles, and it's kind of like the last event and a cycle of events for us um, that led to another event, a new beginning type of thing. But um, it's like a lot of it has been personal, like hanging out with the Lord and Him speaking to our family. Mm -hmm. Reminders of reminders of the past, uh, past word from God and visions and dreams and prophetic utterances and just all these different things and just we've just been kind of just soaking in these things mm -hmm. every god time hey remember this and it's almost like every god time. a lot of times we have god times and this this dynamic revelation or a vision or something god's gonna do or something he's doing in the nation mm -hmm. or something like that this week has all been just like wow we've heard all of this stuff every god time it's yeah. like we've heard all of this stuff like a hundred times this is like you're literally spelling out our whole journey like this week what are you doing and it's like that is what i'm doing yeah i'm i'm bringing it up again mm -hmm. i'm refreshing the page in your heart that just hey this is what i'm doing which R is remember which is really interesting because part of the feast of tabernacles is is designed right. to remember mm -hmm. how God cared for the Israelites while they were in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. And so much... That has through, been our week. Yeah, this week <laughs> has been reminders of how God has cared for us in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. um, cared and carried. Yeah. Maybe that's to be the title of the video, Cared and Carried. Mm -hmm. no, <laughs> and, um, and just that mm -hmm. it's... No, I don't know. I think there were just so many little bits and pieces throughout the whole week, even now as I'm thinking about it, that mm -hmm. it's just like, wow, Lord, you're reminding us of how you took care of us in mm -hmm. in this time of the wilderness, how you've been you've faithful. Been faithful, yeah. yeah. Um, and just that it's like he is good he is sovereign like look at what he has done mm -hmm. look at what he has overcome i think even the lord um 
I feel like throughout this week too, there's been kind of this sense of, hey, remember those kings? <laughs> Let's mm-hmm. talk about those kings. Let's talk about doubt and fear. Let's talk about, you know, just the self and wanting to go after your own heart's desires and the, your emotions and how they can sway you. And what, what does it look like when you don't get what you want? Is there anger? Is there frustration? You know, like throughout, our, throughout this journey in particular, God has pointed out for each of us individually, like, hey, this is something that a king, a, a conquering king, that wants to come in and, and conquer your land. And so, like, for me, doubt has has been something that's just stirred up. Um, your, your heart my being heart, the land. Yeah, your heart you know? being the land. And it's like, don't, you know, let's, God saying, let's overcome, let's conquer this king in your in in your heartland and um well and let's give a recap mm-hmm. like over two what was it like over two years ago now yeah it was back in 2020 yeah and um the lord had us he he went through and he's like we're gonna put um he literally had us prophetically just we we wrote down um the area so i like doubt you had fear mm-hmm. and then um and we, wrote we had it down our, on a piece of paper with our kids and then um, put them on the ground and he was like I want you to put your foot on basically like the neck of these kings like um, in, in, Joshua. in Joshua somewhere in Joshua when yeah. he was conquering there was those those kings the five kings yeah and he's like this is I'm gonna, I'm gonna have you put your foot on the neck of these kings for me it was fear I was just like Move. And that was because, you know, especially back then during COVID, I was like, well, that's it. That's the end of our journey. You know, everyone's dropping out of work, you know, <laughs> and we're 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 not going to we're not going to survive because we live off of offerings. Mm-hmm. You know, if no one's working, we're in trouble. You know, <laughs> it's like stuff like that. I'm always afraid of like financial stuff and financial provision and and or but that's just right now because that's what's highlighted you put me in a different situation and i might be afraid of something else mm-hmm, which you know? is why god's like which is just it's a fear the root is fear it's not really about fear of money or not money you know? yeah it's just like but i'm going to use this to bring the fear out yeah. you know kind of thing and and so basically god's like i want you to put your foot on the necks of these yeah. these areas in your heart and so it's been that's just been something that's God has continually just, hey, let's work on this. Let's overcome. Let's conquer. You know, yeah. it's it's coming up. Don't allow it to conquer you. Go forward. And for all of us, for all of us. All of and us, you know. um, and so I feel like this the youngest week, is kind of exempt. Yeah, because so he for, was he was a baby. For, for the five <laughs> of us, though, we are not. Yeah, he was still very young. Yeah. And so, um. But again, this week, I feel like God was hitting mm-hmm. on so many, like, hey, look at this. This is, you're, you're feeling doubt. I w- literally, I was feeling it just this last week, like very strong of just, man, I'm getting hit again. And ultimately, like that night, we ended up praying and it was just, it was really awesome. Um, mm-hmm. Just, it's like, all right, nope, we're, we're not going to be taken down by, by this, this, Doubt this giant this in our giant land is like no, you're not going to come out and you know you're going to know not to step foot <laughs> across these borders, buddy. Yeah, and and because so, of the Lord, not because of us. Yeah, yeah, no, it's definitely. <laughs> if it was up to Lord. us, we'd be like, okay, come on in. Yeah, <laughs> you're you're probably right. Yeah, you're probably right. You know. Well, <laughs> and it's easy to start to you know have those things that, especially when they're familiar, mm-hmm. and um, and so. But it wasn't just like, I know I, I had that for myself, but I, I know even with our kids, God has really been addressing those areas again, particularly over this last week. He's like, hey, let's bring this up. Let's talk about things. Let's get this again addressed over, you know. It, so it felt very much like we had quite a few 444 moments which is the times of exposure but because it was also a time of resting mm-hmm. they came out differently yeah um but it was just a 
I think that just goes back to God saying, hey, let's remember what this wilderness time was like, what we've been going through, what I've been doing in you. And and I'm still doing. And still working. Yeah. I'm still moving. I'm still, still going. But Up to the last minute. The yeah. Lord told me a long time ago, he's like, I'm going to be doing this kind of stuff up to the last minute. Yeah. He's like, I'm not going to waste any time. You yeah. Know? Yeah, which is so interesting. Like, oh, you're close enough, but the manifestation is not yet, but you're close enough. I'm done. It's like, no, I'm going to be working up to the last second. Yeah. You know? Which is so interesting, too, because even this last week, we ended up having like a tornado warning, which back oh, in 2020, yeah. when we were doing all the stuff about the five kings, there was a literal tornado yeah, in tor Nashville, Nashville that was back in 2020. East Nashville, in, uh, right? February, yeah. yeah. Really. And um, that was bad. like this huge like stamp that the Lord had at that time for us and what he was doing in our life. Mm -hmm. But so it was just interesting, like this area had a, a, a tornado warning. Um, yeah, it's true. And because we were gonna go to the park. Yeah. It was like, oh, you may, you may you want to rethink yeah. that. Let's not go to the park. <laughs> you, know, you don't want to get caught up in that whirlwind, brother. Yeah. <laughs> so it's just been interesting how there are so many different elements over this last week mm -hmm. that Lots. remind us and we're, we're reminders of what God has been doing for the last four years, almost five years of us being here in, in Nashville. The and faithfulness of God. You just, you just fall down on your face and just yeah. worship and praise the Lord. Almost five years. Mm -hmm. It's like, wow. It's crazy, dude. Yeah. It's amazing. So, like, never, never failed us once. Ever. Mm -hmm ever failed us once you know it's just god's good he's stretched us like crazy mm -hmm. but he never failed us he never let us snap or pop or break you know it's just mm -hmm. wow yeah and so also in that mm -hmm. there it's been a time of remembering but also a time of great thanksgiving mm -hmm. you know yes. and saying like wow god thank you for what you've done and and god um one of the nights it was just mm -hmm. ended up yeah. really speaking to and being thankful for the grace that God gives us and the mercy. We ended up talking about mercy and um, and how God has covered us. It says, blessed is the man who is covered, whose sins are covered. You know, we're extended mercy and, and this whole time we've been carried in the tender um, merciful hands of God. Mm -hmm. And and so it was just like really cool. We just spent some time remembering that we were um going over some scriptures but with it god was also speaking to what we were going into mm -hmm. and he's like i've covered you with mercy and i have exposed he's been bringing exposure in our hearts but he's also been saying i'm i'm giving you victory that's the whole point yeah. he's like i want you to have victory so that when yeah. you face doubt you know how to overcome doubt and receive the victory. When you face fear, you know how to overcome fear. No matter what kind of fear it is, mm -hmm. you can have the victory. Well, that's the whole point of the 444. Yeah. That's the whole point. It's like we can focus on the exposure. I, I did my God time today, and when I was done, the document on the Microsoft Word document had 444 words. And I was like, oh, no. I was like, wait, no, 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 that's it. That's good. I got to change my mind. I got to renew my mind. It's actually a good thing. Mm -hmm. If it's exposure, it's going to lead to uh, victory. Victory. You know, it's, that's the whole, that's the goal. Which is, Psalm, yeah. Oh, go, go ahead. ahead. <laughs> yeah, it's Psalm 44, 4, it says command victories on our behalf of, for Jacob or something like that. Yeah. It's like command victories. Well, victory over what? See, that's the 444. It's like, what are, what are you needing victory over? This f fear issue I have, this doubt issue I have, this desire uh, thing, uh, king that I have. I need victory over that. Okay, well, here, let me show you the process. Mm -hmm. It's like, ooh. 
Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not it. It's like, oh, okay, cool. Here, let me help you out with that. It's like, well, that, that's not what I had in mind, mm -hmm. you know? It's like, well, you want to get free of it or you want to play games? It's like, ooh. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's like, I'll, I'll take freedom for 1,000, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, and so, so it has been just like, so God was saying like, hey, I've given you mercy. I, I, I'm flooding you with my mercy in this time because there's been a lot of exposure. And, mm -hmm. and so, but I'm giving you victory. But I really felt like God was saying, now you're going to come into a time where you're, you're going to be experiencing my grace mm -hmm. to walk in the victory that you have. Yeah. And so it's like, God's like, I don't want you guys to just have a one-time victory or just a few moments of victory. He's like, remember when God did that thing that one time? He's yeah. like, no, I don't know. This is going to be an ever-present, ongoing stream of yeah. victory. Yeah. You just, just walk well, in it. And, it. and to grow in it. Mm -hmm. Because you can even think of it kind of like a seed. So to speak. it's like God's like, okay, we've weeded the garden. I've exposed what needs to be exposed here. And so now I'm planting a seed in its place. And that seed is going to be nurtured and grow. So it's like, okay, we're going to conquer the king of doubt and all of, all that comes with it. But it's going to be replaced with a seed of faith. Mm -hmm. And that seed of faith is now going to be watered and grow. I'm going to provide the grace that it's going to need to grow up mm -hmm. and, and to become not just a small seed of faith, but a tree that is strong. Yeah. You know, and... And so like, or a seed of love, you know, perfect love casts out all fear. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to replace it here. I'm going to replace it. Now you're going to have the grace to grow and mature into the fullness of what I have for you in that area of your life. And, and so I was just really sensing that like God speaking to coming into a season, like a long time, long term season of walking things out, growing and maturing in the very places that God has given victory and have we have seen Inside victory. Inside the manifestation of the dream and the promise and mm -hmm. the desire fulfilled. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. And so yeah. so that was like really awesome and even with all of that it was just like praising the Lord for everything that he's done but like I said too he's like prophesying and speaking what is to come and so that yeah. has been a, a piece of this week as well where God was really speaking uh, personally to us just with like um, just like looking forward to what God has for us and our family um, mm -hmm. and which is really, I guess, all a part of Tabernacles, um, the Feast of Tabernacles, because I was uh, looking or reading about about it, and um, and they were saying like it's a time where they remember the past, they give thanks to the Lord for the harvest that they've just received mm -hmm. um, f from you know this year's fruits and crops, but then they're also looking forward to. God's blessing upon their life as they look towards the future and what they're going into. Mm -hmm. And and I just feel like we really have experienced so much of that over this time of the Feast of Tabernacles where yeah. God's just like, hey, I'm going to weave this into what I'm doing in your hearts and your lives right now. And we kind of ended our week with... It was actually really cool because it was just this idea basically the Lord had spoken to you about or you were getting from God. It was just like, we circle, he circles. We offer, he offers. Um, and that came from, um, on it was on Saturday and God was speaking to us about like the, the burnt offerings and like the sacrifice and, mm -hmm. um, and coming down um, as fire upon the altar. Yeah. And, and so it was almost like God's like saying like, here, you've laid down your life. So now I'm, I'm going to come. And, and it well, came. It's a Luke 12, 37. Yeah. If you read that, that's really the whole point of it. Yeah. Right? And that was really the heart of it was just like how God is saying like, you know, in the, in that scripture, it's talking about, 
um, a master coming back and when he finds his servants doing what he has asked them to do it says will he not himself like he will gird himself and have the servants sit at the table and he will serve them Mm -hmm. and so it it was just this sense from the lord of saying like okay you've you've done your part i'm Mm -hmm. coming back and i'm seeing wow you have done well good and faithful servant and so now i'm gonna turn and serve you and it was just like wow lord you're you're gonna do that and just like um for us which has really been a picture this whole time even with um in 2017 we got these the banqueting visions Mm -hmm. and even in that these doors blow open were lifted up carried by the wind the wind wind was so strong it literally lifted everyone up that was waiting at that door it lifted us up and blew open the door at the same time Mm -hmm. it's like we just kind of it all kind of happened like very fluidly and simultaneously it was such a strong wind but it wasn't destructive Mm -hmm. you know and it's just like wow yeah it was so fun (laughs) it was so much fun it was a wind of joy Mm. and it just it made us laugh it was so fun it took us up to the ceiling and was we were spinning around and we were like oh this is amazing mm-hmm. you know i hope it never ends you yeah. know what i mean <laughs> that's kind of what it felt like and then uh, and then it just 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 as intensely and almost violently and forcefully it picked us up and it just set us down in the seat at this table just super mm-hmm. gently mm-hmm. like you might put a baby down to bed mm. it was just like Whoo. and we were sitting down at our chairs and we're going whoa that was amazing and it was the table of the promises of god Mm -hmm. where he serves us Mm -hmm. he gets up and serves us the promises Mm -hmm. and everyone has a different plate and a different serving every a different thing Mm -hmm. that they're getting from the lord but and it was like it was amazing yeah you know yeah so that and that's really with that that it was the same idea where it's like we are set at the table and then jesus was delighted I mean to serve Mm -hmm. and um, and so it kind of ended the week with that same picture where God is saying like hey I'm I'm going to I I receive this offering that sweet scent um, from you but I'm also going to pour out myself upon you yeah Um, and it was kind of like a marriage thing you know mm -hmm. it's like the circling around the hoopah seven Mm -hmm. times and then the the husband circles i don't know if that actually happens. yeah i don't know if he circles but he responds responds. to what's been done it's like elijah he built the the altar that had been broken down by a jezebel heathen culture he repaired it and god's like i'm gonna answer by fire that yes i approve of that Mm -hmm. you know it's the same kind of thing you know and it's like Noah comes out, first thing he does is he builds an altar. Mm-hmm. Um, and the Lord smelled it and he's like, and he said, oh, I'm going to respond to that mm-hmm. with a promise that I'm never going to flood the earth again. And mm-hmm. So there's just, uh, you know, the leper in Mark 1, 40 through 44 says, Lord, if you're willing to, and it's like that desire of him to, the, it was like, I am submitting to you. I just think, you know what I mean? And he's like, he responds to that because that's kind of related to that for us. Mm-hmm. Um, and so it's like we've laid down our life in the way that we just speaking to us personally, but also to you guys who, who understand, you know, those who just like picked up and moved to Florida, you know, just random example. <laughs> Yet specific. But um, I mean, you just know what it's like to just be led by the spirit and it really kind of goes against the grain of the culture it goes against the grain of things that you might consider proper church life even Mm -hmm. you know like our life is kind of like that right now you know and um but it's like only the lord can answer and vindicate Mm -hmm. and he's really not is he vindicating us sure but by vindicating us he's proving himself Mm -hmm. he's saying no i've done this i started it 
I'm finishing it. Mm -hmm. You know, I started it. They responded. They've laid down their life. Now I'm going to respond and you're going to all see it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's like, I just feel like that's just what's, that's what's getting ready to happen. That's the feeling I was getting that morning. What was that? Saturday morning? Mm -hmm. That God is, I felt like God's going to, I know we've heard this quite a bit. And the reason I think we've heard it quite a bit, because it's in the spirit. It's, it's an APB going out from the heart of God. And this is what it is. What's getting ready to happen. We've never seen before ever. Mm hmm. That means I have no idea what it is. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's like when Jesus said, so that you might know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, pick up your mat, rise up and walk and go go home. And the people, and he, and he the paralytic man got up, picked up his mat and did, did what Jesus said. And everyone was like, oh. <gasps> What? And it says in that scripture, I don't remember where it was. You might. But um, apparently not. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I can't <it's>, remember. <laughs> it says, everyone was amazed and mm -hmm. praised God and said, we have never seen anything like this. Yeah. That's what's getting ready to happen. Mm -hmm. We are getting ready to see a manifestation of the presence of the Lord in a way that people will say who just, just casual church going people. I mean, they're going to say, we have never seen anything like this. We have never seen anything like this. That's what people are getting ready to say. That's going to be the banner. That's going to be the, the, not the banner, but that's going to be the, 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 you know, that song you can't get out of your head. That's going to be the statement that you just can't stop hearing. Mm -hmm. People are going to be like, we have never seen anything like this because I mean, and you look at our nation and what's going on in our nation. It's just like, we've never seen anything like this. And God's like, that's okay. Watch what I'm going to do. People are going to be saying that about me here in a minute. It. Mm -hmm. You know, well, we've never seen anything like this. Like, who's heard of such a thing? Psalm 66 or Isaiah 66, 8, yep. 9, 7, something there. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm just saying, like, I think that's that's what I was getting. I was like, I was like, because I keep wanting to say, oh, wow, cool. So what is it? You know, like, what are you, what are you going to do? And it's just like, that's holy unto the Lord. All of his knowledge really is holy unto the Lord. And he mm -hmm. shares it with who he wants to share it with, mm -hmm. what he wants to share, when and how much, you know. And it's just like, I just feel that in the spirit so strongly that it's like you have never seen it. You've never mm -hmm. seen anything like it before, what I'm getting ready to do. And I'm like, ah, well, I want to see it. Yep. I am ready. What is it? <laughs> it's like, well, I recognize it when it comes. And it's like, uh, it will be undeniable. Yeah. Like, it will be undeniable. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's just like. It's like if you if you live in an if you live in an Im relatively empty house, and you come in one day and it's fully furnished and it's decked out with the greatest and most expensive technological advancements and all that, you, huh, I think I, I think I missed that. No, you're gonna miss that. Mm -hmm. You're gonna know that right away. So anyway, just a random example. <laughs> <laughs> so God's getting ready to move, and mm -hmm. everyone's gonna see it. Mm -hmm. Kind of like the return of Jesus. It's like all eyes will see it. Mm -hmm. They will just know. They'll just behold and know in mm -hmm. some form or fashion and way. Yeah. So there's a lot of other cool stuff we'd love to share with you because right now it's Tuesday. And since Sunday, God's been doing amazing things. I mean, amazing. But, yeah. <laughs> but we can't. You know we're, we're, we're talking, you know, the quiet week. Yes. The calm before the storm. Let me tell you. Whew, it is. It was a great calm before the storm. And I tell you what, the clouds have rolled in, people. <laughs> They've rolled in. And there's a thundering and a lightning happening right now. And uh, that's about all we can say for next week. <laughs> I'm not going to spoil it too much. Yeah. So. But. Yeah, I so I think yeah. that's it. And um, we do pray that you guys are blessed. Yes. And um, that, yeah. Get ready to see the glory of God, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
and that of you just know. Of course we don't have a time frame. Don't even ask. No, but just know, like, God is on the move, and, um, you know, whatever your heart is, um, you know, whatever God has been working on in your heart, continue to just bring it before Him, continue to just overcome. Yeah. You know, He has victory for you um, in in every area of your life that that he is he's working on and so mm. um just just know that and also know that he is moving we're not in um we're not going backwards we're going forwards mm. and so um always forward yeah so i think that's all that we have for you guys yep. and until next time we will see you later yep bye bye guys see ya